right, let's keep it going for your next comic. He was winner of the college comedy competition at the Aspen Comedy Festival. Give it up for Trevor Anderson. Yeah, keep going for Steve and Earl. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Trevor. Found out something interesting about my roommate the other day. And I say he likes to pee in the shower. Which only a few of you have a problem with. <laughs> all right, no, that's fine. Honestly, it wouldn't be that big of a deal if he didn't get it all over my leg every single time. <laughs> Dude, I know you can aim, we practice. There's no jellyfish in here. I'm originally from a small town. My parents still live there. My dad makes his living as a, a Lutheran minister, which is awesome. All right. Four of you going to heaven in this? No, nah, just kidding. None of you are going to heaven. <laughs> Whatever, no, it doesn't matter. It was actually pretty sweet growing up with a dad that was a minister because that meant uh, growing up, my brothers and I got to read the Bible a lot for fun. I feel like I should have mentioned we're from Wisconsin, so you guys don't know the Bible drinking game. Yeah, the Bible drinking game, that exists. I will teach you. It start, you start reading from the beginning of the good book. And every time you can't pronounce one of the names or places, you take a drink. <laughs> ah, yes, way more fun with that. It gets harder as it goes along. My whole family's wasted halfway through Genesis. My mom's like, we gotta listen to Phil Collins now. <laughs> this is Phil Collins was in Genesis. <laughs> the band, not the book of the Bibles. <laughs> Some of you are looking at me like, oh man, I gotta reread some parts. <laughs> I definitely skimmed the Old Testament. <clears throat> and the angel Peter Gabriel came down and said, I wanna be your sledgehammer. It's reading from the book of Susu Deuteronomy. It's about as far as we can go with that. <laughs> I was having breakfast today. It's one of my favorite meals, top three for sure. You guys have heard of it. It's good stuff. It's having my favorite cereal of all time. Captain Crunch, Oops All Berries. Only, man, I gotta hip you guys to this stuff. Oops All Berries, what they want you to think happened. Something's going on at the Crunch Factory. I don't know the details. The captain's just staying after hours. Yeah, I'll lock up behind you guys. Just snorting a couple crunch lines, going cuckoo for cocoa berries, just pulling levers, filling up boxes. Oops, they're going out like that. I've been doing research. These are not all accidents, you guys. They've got boxes printed up ahead of time. You're not gonna buy a company's mistakes, right? You wouldn't buy Oops All Crackers Lunchables. It's a ripoff. That's a $4 box of crackers. You need those slimy meat discs. And that inoperable hunk of cheese. You need fingernails for those cracker sandwiches. Oops. They're trying to apologize to for giving me my favorite part of their lesser cereal. I think a more appropriate name would be Booyah! All Crunch Berries, baby! Trevor's having a fantastic breakfast at noon 30 in his parents' basement with his cat roommates. Hey, here's a tip, guys. If you're ever showering with cats, don't do it because they'll urinate all over your legs. Oops. I would love to see a company make 
Oops, all M&M's trail mix. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, sorry, we only gave you the part you wanted the entire time. Instead of a bunch of twigs and raisins to dig around. Enjoy your hike. Mm -mm. You're not going on a hike, are you? Enjoy your Netflix. Mm. Oh, man. I feel like I know you guys now. I can open up a little bit. Yeah, right? <laughs>